top mom, Casey Anthony, is she trying to orchestrate an unprecedented secret jailhouse funeral for little Kelly? This while, this while the attorney Lee for Lee Anthony announces all signals are indicating he will face criminal charges. And topping it all off tonight, there are reports an emergency motion has been filed to throw prosecutors off the top mom murder case. Straight out to Kathy Belch with WFTV. First of all, tell me about a so-called secret funeral behind bars for little Kelly. Apparently, the family's attorney says he's trying to work with the jail to allow arrangements for something like this. The jail says that no request has been made and that it's highly unlikely that, that Casey Anthony would be treated as every other inmate in the jail. She's under protective custody and they're not going to bend the rules for her. So that's what we know about that. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that would work. Everyone, we are taking your calls live out to Gloria Allred, Ray Judice, Carmen St. George. Gloria Allred, explain to me a secret funeral behind bars for little Kaylee. Yeah, Nancy, I don't think that, there, that she's going to receive any special treatment, any different treatment, any better treatment than anyone else. And I think that's highly unlikely. Uh, she may, as a PR, uh, uh, attempt to try to have some sort of service or maybe truly she has to grieve for the, her little baby but I don't think she's going to get it. Out to Raymond Judice, defense attorney out of Atlanta. Let me get this straight Ray. The state says she murdered her daughter not an accident murder one intentional homicide right. that she bound the child's mouth with a duct tape double bagged her like trash, threw her away. Now she wants to say bye-bye in a funeral behind bars. Thoughts? Not gonna happen. I totally agree with Ms. Allred. However, the defense team may be trying to show how much she cares and how much she wants to weep and grieve over her missing child's death. It's a PR ploy. Carmen St. George, if that is true, I see no reason why the jury shouldn't hear about it. Well, the, the the jurors, the potential jurors, might hear about it from media coverage, Nancy. No, but, I uh, mean in court, Carmen, where well, it counts. I don't think that's going to come out in court. I think this this is out of a the PR legal system. It's a decision by the off warden. A PR stunt your daughter's funeral? A PR stunt? You can you can qualify it as that now if that's what you're saying. But she might say, you know, I wanted to grieve for my daughter and I wanted to have a funeral. It's going to be ultimately up to the warden. I doubt seriously she'd be given the opportunity to do this because people are going to say basically she's charged with killing her daughter. She now should not get the benefit of having a burial, having a funeral service. Leonard Padilla, you have been with the family. You have been in their home. You have had extensive conversations with the tot mom, Casey Anthony. What is this stunt by Casey Anthony's defense to try to have a jailhouse funeral for little Kaylee? Well, you know, I'm not going to even uh, blame Casey for it. Uh, the, the whole thing about having a service in, uh, in the jail started with discussions, and it was even discussed in my office here some time back, that they could potentially have a service uh, right in uh, the, the uh, jail. Uh, with the, the there's only three relatives outside right now. I, obviously, if they get arrested for tampering or something, they could all be in there at the same time. But uh, we started discussing it, and then it was on some of the uh, chat rooms that they were talking about it at the time too. And I so I, I can't blame Casey for it. I think it just started on the outside and worked its way uh, to where somebody, uh, an attorney, picked up the ball and ran with it. To Mike Brooks, former Fed with the FBI, Mike. You and I have both handled plenty of homicide cases. A private goodbye for the woman, the mother, the state has accused of killing the little girl, duct taping her mouth, carrying her around in the trunk dead for days. And now she wants the court, the jail to believe she wants to say a proper goodbye. Maybe she should have done that when she was stuffing her in the trunk. Yeah, maybe she should, have, she should have done that when she was back a long time ago and told the truth, but she has not said one thing that's truthful to law enforcement. What are they going to do? Everybody going to gather around one little telephone and say a couple prayers? It's not going to happen, Nancy. Well, it's, look, it's just whoa, total whoa, whoa, BS. Wait, 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 wait. Anybody that wants to break out in prayer, I believe now would be the time to do it for the tot mom and for George Anthony, who is suffering 
uh, terribly tonight in a psych ward over all of this. So, hey, don't drag prayer into this. That's not what this request is about.